So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to discuss the news from 29th and 30th September 2022. Thoda sa bhi backlog chal raha hai because ek session bhi but don't you worry guys, everything will be covered in the upcoming sessions. And Nabad ka phase 1 ka result aa chuka hai, so jin jin ka bhi phase 1 nikal chuka hai, so please, please gear up your preparations now for the phase 2 and of course, मुझे ये बताने की जरूरत नहीं पड़नी चाहिए that how much important these PIB sessions are for your phase two examinations. All right, so let's begin with the session without any delay. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link for which is provided in the description. All right, so let's talk about the very first question, which says how much amount has been fixed as a limit under ways and means advances by the RBI. For financial year 2022-23, actually this question is for the second half of financial year 22-23. Now guys, this is a very very important question and there is a huge chance that you have asked in examination. Mein pucha jai, right? So let's talk about the news. The government has declared its borrowing plan for financial year 2022-23. And the second half is how much money is taking or how much money is taking. They have given them the right? So the government of India in consultation with RBI has finalized its borrowing program for second half of financial year 22-23. The overall borrowing, right? The overall borrowing of government of India for financial year 22-23 is projected at rupees 14.31 lakh crores. And out of this amount, out of this 14.31 lakh crore, government will borrow 14.10 lakh crore. Abhi tak jo finalized ho chuka hai, that is 14.21 lakh crore. And out of this, in the second half, they will borrow how much? Rupees 5.92 lakh crore. Right? Abhi tak, jo, pro, jo projected hai, that is 14.31 lakh crores. Finalized ho chuka hai, 14.21 lakh crores. And for the second half, government will borrow rupees 5.92 lakh crores in the uh, second half of financial year 23. Alright? Moving ahead. 16,000 crore will be borrowed through issuance of sovereign green bonds. This is important. This can be asked in your exam that how much amount government will raise through sovereign green bonds in second half of financial year 23. So the answer would be 16,000 crore in that case. And the most important part of this news is this, that for second half of financial year 23, RBI has set a limit of rupees 50,000 crores to fulfill temporary mismatches. Now I hope you guys are aware of this ways and means advances. So these are the advances or these are the amount which are given by RBI to the government in case there, in case there is any mismatch between the uh, funds received by the government or the government ka kharcha hai. If there is a mismatch, hai, to usko fulfill karne ke liye, there is a tool of RBI which is known as ways and means advances. All right. So now let's come back to the question. The correct answer is option D, 50,000 crore. All right. Moving ahead to question number two. In which state, Central Public Health and Environmental Engineering Organization, which works under the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, headed by Hardeep Singh Puri, and Hardeep Singh Puri is of course the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, has organized first of its kind's regional workshop on 24-7 water supply system. Now, if this first of its kind, na hota, then this question would not have been very important. But it is a first of its kind regional workshop, so that is why I have taken this news. Because if any thing happens first time, then that automatically becomes important for the examination, right? So remember, Central Public Health and Environmental Engineering Organization, and do remember it works under Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. This organization, along with technical cooperation of JIS, JIS is the German company, and Government of Odisha, right? So three players are there. This organization, which is Central Public Health and an Environmental Engineering Organization, JIS and Government of Odisha. So they together have organized first of its kind regional workshop on 24-7 water supply system. Right? Now where this uh, national work, regional workshop have, has been organized? So it has been organized at Puri, which is of course we all know in Odisha. Right? Re regarding this regional workshop, this much information is enough. If the exam mein question will come, then it will that where this regional workshop was conducted or in which state it was conducted. If you ask more and more location, then in that case, the correct answer would be Puri. Right? Now remember, 
मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स अंडर अमृत टू पॉइंट ओ विच इज स्कीम ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अर्बन अफेयर्स हैज कंस्टिट्यूटेड नेशनल टास्क फोर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वाटर सप्लाई सिस्टम एंड देर आर स्टेट लेवल टास्क फोर्स एज वेल एट द स्टेट लेवल राइट एंड टिल नाउ टेन स्टेट एंड यूटीज है स्टेट लेवल टास्क फोर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वाटर सप्लाई सिस्टम राइट एंड वन मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन विच आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट uh the chairperson of national task force on 247 water supply system is mr deen dayalan right what is the name mr deen dayalan right it is not it is not deen dayalan it is deen dayalan there is h h is there all right so please don't get confused so he is the chairperson of uh, this national task force on 247 water supply system all right and if i talk about this question the correct answer will be option d odisha Moving ahead to question number one second. <coughs> yes, moving ahead to question number three. Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, has launched Building Science Leaders Program. This program has been developed by Capacity Building Commission, Office of Principal Scientific Advisor. Who is the Principal Scientific Advisor? Ajay Kumar Sood. Ajay Kumar Sood is the Principal Scientific Advisor at ISRO. and isro chairperson is of course mr s somnath right so which university was engaged to develop the pro this program now first of all let's talk about this program what is this program and then we will come back to the question so remember it has been launched by ministry of science and technology the name is building science leaders program right so as the name suggests the program has the objective of inculcating the leadership qualities among the scientist jo hamare scientist hai unke andar लीडरशिप क्वालिटीज इंकलकेट करना इज दब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम सो दैट दे कैन अज्यूम द लीडरशिप रोल्स राइट इट हैज बिन डेवलप बाई कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग कमीशन ऑफिस ऑफ प्रिंसिपल साइंटिफिक एडवाइजर एंड इसरो एंड टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वन इज सेंटर फॉर टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन एंड इकोनॉमिक रिसर्च एंड वन यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी दीज टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर ऑल्सो एंगेज इन डेवलपिंग दिस प्रोग्राम राइट नाउ इन द फर्स्ट फेज in the first phase participation uh, participants from seven seven scientific departments will be there and these are the departments science and technology biotechnology isro department of atomic energy csir ministry of earth sciences and ministry of environment forest and climate change now you don't have to remember the name of all these departments just remember in the first phase participants will be from seven scientific departments of the government of india all right so that is all and now let's come back to the question so which university was engaged so it was ahmedabad university option d is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 4 in which states indian agricultural research institute has organized the kisan sampark yatra to obtain the farmers feedback on the three newly released iari basmati varieties now this question is important for the upcoming nabat phase 2 for rbi grade b it is not important बिकॉज आई डोंट सी कि ये आपके आरबीआई ग्रेड बी में आना चाहिए फॉर नबार्ड इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो रिमेंबर देर वॉज वन किसान संपर्क यात्रा इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई इंडियन एग्रीकल्चरल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इन टू स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा एंड पंजाब राइट वेयर दिस यात्रा हैज बिन ऑर्गेनाइज हरियाणा एंड पंजाब द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस यात्रा इज टू ऑप्टेन दी फार्मर्स फीडबैक ऑन थ्री न्यूली रिलीज आई आर आई बासमती वेराइटीज and which are these three newly released basmati varieties these are pusa basmati 1847 1885 and 1886 okay and remember what is so special about these three three new varieties uh, these three new varieties remember are bacterial blight and blast disease resistant ye jo dono varieties hain in dono varieties mein bacterial blight blight disease hone ka ya fir blast disease hone ka khatra kam hai all right so that is all so the correct answer will be what punjab and haryana because these are the two states where this kisan sampark yatra has been organized by indian agricultural research institute all right <clears throat> now let's come back to question number 5 how much amount has been released by ministry of home affairs as central share of state disaster mitigation fund to the three states of up punjab and goa for the year 2122 for undertaking mitigation activities as per the guidelines issued by the central government this is again a very important question because these days mitigation strategies pe government ka kafi zyada focus hai 
So for these three states, UP, Punjab and Goa, Minister of Home Affairs, Ministry of Home Affairs has released 488 crore. Right option B, 488 crores is the correct answer. Question number six and total there are eight questions today. Name the digital knowledge sharing platform launched by Directorate General of Training. Very, very important question that allows sharing of books, notes, videos, question bank, etc. and other relevant skill related content for learners. So you just have to name this digital knowledge sharing platform and what this platform is doing it is already mentioned in the question. It allows sharing of books, notes, videos and other things right and the name of this platform guys is Bharat Skills Forum option D is the correct answer. Question number 7 India MedTech Expo 2022 will be organized in the month of December 2022 by the Department of Pharmaceuticals. It will be organized in New Delhi. All right. Which of the following industry bodies will coordinate with the department for organizing this event? Right. So very direct and very easy question. Uh, the industry body which has collaborated with Department of Pharmaceutical for this MedTech Expo 2022 is Fikki. Right. Fikki is the correct answer. And Mr. Sanjeev Mehta is the chairperson. Sanjeev Mehta is the chairperson of Fikki. And the last question for today, as per the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, waste processing capacities of urban local bodies have increased from a mere 18% in 2014 to how much percent in 2022? So basically the question is, what is the waste processing capacity of urban local bodies in 2022? So that 73% option A will be the correct answer. Alright guys, so that's it for today's session. I hope the questions are clear and the explanations are also clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Take care and all the best for the Nabat Grade Phase 2 examination. God bless.